Hey everyone, Zero Jetty here with the XBLA Fans channel. I'm here to give a quick taste of going under, like going underground, or maybe in this case, like a business going under, because that's what this is all about. This is a satirical roguelite where you are playing as a intern at a company called Fizzle, as you can see right here. Uh, they are owned by a super mega corporation, and you have been assigned here as an intern for marketing. I have done absolutely no marketing at all, but mostly monster killing and that kind of thing right there. Actually, the uh, CEO of the, comp the uh, Fizzle Company is right here, and he is a jerk. Uh, we literally have all of the stereotypes for a sort of startup company. The very detached CEO, the... Where is he? Yes, man manager who thinks that the CEO can do no wrong. Where is he? Uh, there's a, there, I don't know where he went. Uh, there's this big guy here who essentially is in charge of all the flavors of the uh, fizzle drink, which I forgot to uh, mention. The fizzle drink essentially is a super drink that replaces meals. Uh, and he, uh, the big guy, was the one who kind of co founded the company, but uh, gave away the CEO ship so he could focus more on the company and all that kind of stuff because he really believes in it. Uh, we have our sort of a uh, dude uh, over here. I, I don't actually know what he does. He's the, also the only one who does not speak in any capitalization or punctuation that I have seen. And then somewhere around here, I think we passed her right over here, is our sort of a uh, computer person. Uh, she designs the apps and the website and all that kind of stuff here. But uh, anyways, uh, they're more than just uh, people. They actually give you tasks, so... As you can see here, I have different tasks by people, and as I do those tasks, I can actually increase my mentorship, which gives me more abilities with them. So a Tappy here, she, I didn't see her earlier. She's essentially like the budget, like a money person who's continually telling us that we've gone over budget and all that kind of stuff. But if I have her equipped, I get more money from drops from enemies, and she actually unlocks a special room that allows me to order uh, specific items in the dungeon uh, for cheaper prices. So let's see, we're going to go over here real quickly. So, uh, as like I said before, these are the people here. This is the guy. This is Fern. He's the uh, the uh, guy who's really caring about the flavors. Uh, this is you right here, of course. Tappy. Uh, Kara, Eat Legion Engineer. The uh, CEO, Ray, here. Uh, he gives you a company card where you can buy stuff that's out of your price range. The only thing is that you are essentially chained with debt. Not metaphorically, literally, you are chained with a big ball that says debt to it. Now, we're going to go to Swamp here because if I get to a shop, he'll just steal a random item from me. And, of course, you have, you wouldn't have a roguelite without stuff that carries over. So as you play, you are picking up these different skills. When they get to 100, you can actually select one to uh, take with you into the dungeon right away. Uh, we're going to go, we're going to stick with this disruptive because crit, crits will do extra damage. But, uh... Behind me, there are three dungeons so far. Uh, this is a Sticks coin. This is a cryptocurrency startup. Uh, over here, hold on. I can go back to my house over there to change my outfit. We're not going to really look into that. Uh, over here where the purple line leads, this is the sort of starting dungeon. And over there is another one, Winky Dink, which I haven't gotten into yet. We're going to go to Joblin just so I can kind of show it off. But yeah, uh, it is heavily implied that these are all failed businesses and i'm going down here to kill the monsters so they won't steal uh, office supplies uh by the way i love this game i'm thoroughly enjoying it all right so one of my tasks is actually to walk this dog to the dungeon but this is me i can punch uh, you can see in the upper left i got my hearts i actually have an extra heart because i beat this dungeon before and I got my money on the left shows my uh, mentor and my sort of perks. I'm going to grab this pencil. You can cycle out three items. Uh, this is actually my biggest issue with this game is if an item breaks, it doesn't automatically cycle to the next one, which is a bit of a disappointment. But let's go ahead and go. We didn't pick up the little dude. Get rid of these uh, goblins. Uh, not all the all, not all the enemies are the same. The cryptocurrency actually has like skeleton miners and stuff like that. Damn. Uh, and uh, anything that's essentially Bitcoin mining related. So we're going to head over here and get a skill. Uh, so as you can see here, both of these are 100%. So that means uh, those are ones I've used enough to like max out and get what I want. I'm going to pick this bone club up because it has more damage. Like I said before, I really like this because if you crit, you actually get a... Uh, 
a, a, a electrical stagger effect on enemies. So in rooms like these, I can do a, a task. Here it's usually just kill, all, here it's always been kill enemies as fast as you can. In the Bitcoin uh, area, it's actually uh, wanting me to, uh, what's it called, uh, collect Bitcoins. Thank you. There you go, and here's my reward. Got a job witch, and then I got the guitar. Grab the sword real quick. As you can see upper on um, the upper right, I have a map. So this room's interesting. You can actually get business cards, which you can use to learn about your enemies. Uh, the thing is though, you have to finish them off with that and that use a, uses a different currency. Mm, let's keep them going here. This first dungeon's actually not too hard. Uh, I've been mainly using it to do the uh, quests for the mentors. Uh, one of my favorite, uh, what's it called, uh, items is one that allows you to, the more, if you overheal, uh, you actually get sh uh, shield. Perfect. We're going to talk to him. And he's like, yo, awesome. I don't want that yoga ball. Uh, but the, the, the jokes are actually pretty good. Uh, one of the conversations was with the CEO and he's like, you've been working real hard. Uh, why don't you work from home for a while? And she's like, how do I work from, how do I raid from home? Do you even know what my job is? But it is very much that stereotypical, like, this CEO has absolutely no idea what's going on. One of the ideas he attempted to pitch was, uh, you have to scan a barcode on top of the drink to even open it if you want to drink it. Have a great day. Ooh. There you go. Swing faster. Also, it's uh, slides instead of stairs, which I find funny. And now we're here. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, one of the other things I recently act were, uh, applied, unlocked were these apps. Uh, they will do uh, different effects. See, like right there, I, my weapon broke, but it did not switch, so I took some damage. There we go. All right, what does this do? I don't know what it does. Satisfaction guaranteed. Uh, if I had Fern equipped, actually, he would um, cause... Ooh. Good. He would uh, cause uh, the drinks to actually spawn in here. Okay. That's all it does. Just damage. Uh, he would cause drinks to spawn in here that can cause status effects on enemies. If I can kill this guy without uh, doing too much to the car, the I can get in the car, but it's going to explode. Hi there. There's actually another guitar that uh, shoots out uh, these little notes and stuff like that. Uh, resourceful. Let's go this one. So I'm going to take this and I should make some friends. There we go. A little sad face hung out for a little bit. Whew. Get in the car. Did it. Drift in. Oh. Actually, one of my tasks is to uh, defeat an enemy with uh, my fists. And I have to do 10 of those, but hasn't been easy so far. Uh, you'll also notice that the weapons have a number over them next to them. That's how much damage they do. I believe that's how much damage they do. Uh oh. Unless it's a crit, of course. Sweet. Take this big old stick. We're not going to take the stick. Alright, we're actually going to... I want to show you the crypto one. The crypto one's fun. But yeah, I'm very much enjoying this. So see how I got those all filled out? Now I can, if I want to, select those and bring them in with me as a starting perk. 
And once in a while, we're like, this is all, it's kind of broke up with story. This is the little AI that we have here. Uh, these right here, so these are perks that haven't been uh, introduced in the dungeon quite yet. So I buy those with whatever that funny currency is in the upper left. Also, that's the mana press over there. When I installed it, everyone seems to lo no longer need sleep. Here we go. This is, the, this is Fern. He's a nice guy. His jacket has crazy, a crazy texture on it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he uh, started up this company. But it, it sounds like this company is uh, not doing well at all. All right, let's go. So far, none of the tasks have been terribly hard. The only one I'm really having issue is is from uh, the swoop over there, who I think just serves drinks and stuff like that. Uh, and it is to run over a car with another car, and I haven't been able to figure that out. Where is this cryptocurrency one again? Oh, it's over here. This is not the starting outfit. I switched into it. So this is a like totally different thing. Like all the weapons and stuff look different. There's pickaxes because, you know, Bitcoin mining, hunting whales, shorting markets, securing contracts, sprouting, sporting jogging, there you go. Got a hammer. Oh, forgot to take the little guy yet. Quickly into the minecart. You should come over here. There he is. We're not gonna. Yeah, we're gonna. Just gotta wait for those guys to come on down. Look at these little bitcoins. So in this uh, dungeon, you'll notice that there are two currencies, bitcoins and actual money. Uh, so at the shop, you can actually convert your bitcoins into money. And boy, do these bitcoins not uh, count for much. I haven't actually checked out the third, uh, the third area, but I'm kind of scared. Like, what if it's like one of those creepy dating apps? You gonna jump down over here? Oh, he got me. Come on down. Wow, you really don't wanna. Got ya, punched you to death. I don't want the urn, I want this, there we go. What's mine is yours. Let's see. I'll get this one just because I haven't had it yet. Get another pickaxe. Like, I really wish that that it would automatically switch your, uh, your item. I haven't actually... I don't think you can actually set that either. Oh, hello. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> A rock climbing wall. Okay, so yeah, remember how the other one was uh, defeat enemies? This is just... Click these. Uh, there's also rooms where you can get like three perks, but you have to, uh, you have, you'll get a, like a debuff for a while. One of them is just a uh, debt again, which is just a big old ball that says debt on it. I don't know what this is. Order has been delivered. Thank you. Get that milk. Here you go. This is what I was talking about. Earlier. Okay. What are you going to steal from me, buddy? Giga, Dr oh, Gurren Logon, yes. Okay, so you see like, goody. Convert all that. All right, let's go. I am Gurren Logon. Also, blockchain. Stick the blockchain with us. 
Oh, I can't take the blockchain with me. Drill to the heavens. Roll in. I don't know what that did. Oh, hello. Oh, it's just gonna bring a cubicle. Oh, just a maze. Well, I think you get the idea. I am Zero JD. This is the XBLA Fans channel. Thank you very much for watching. I'm enjoying this game a lot. I'm gonna keep playing it. Talk to you later. Bye, everyone.